Maharaja Gad Singh of Jodhpur to Toronto. A very hearty welcome to you from the entire Indian community in Toronto. I know you are here for the grand opening of the exhibition that is going to be inaugurated day after at Royal Ontario Museum. And I must say that this is a great honor for us, for all Indians in Toronto, to have this exhibition at Royal Ontario Museum, which is a landmark in itself. Uh, and of course, uh, we have a representation from Royal Ontario Museum. Dr. Diwali Diwan is here. I want to thank uh, Royal Ontario Museum for taking this initiative to bring some portion of some glimpses of art, culture and history of India. And uh, all of you come from India, you all know how rich the history is. We go back not only centuries, we go back millennia. And in many of my speeches, I talk about the earliest period that I have read about Indian history and that is the Yugab. I don't know if you understand that word. Yugab means the change of Yuga, which means change of Dwapar Yuga to Kalyu, which astronomers in India have worked out the date based on the description in Mahabharata and that works out to exactly 3102 BC. And that's the history we are talking about in a country which has a history of about 150 years. But each country is important. Each country has its own history and they are all proud of it. We Indians in Toronto should take pride in the richness of our diversity, of our history and the greatest civilization, the oldest civilization in the world. With these words, I want to welcome Maharaja Jagat Singh once again to Toronto and uh, looking forward to interacting with you during the exhibition. I was mentioned by some of the Rana members that uh, the number of ra people from Rajasthan is rather limited. I guess uh, people in Rajasthan are rather happy in Rajasthan itself, so they don't want to migrate out. <laughs> you have to see the positive of everything. So, there is a famous story of Guru Nanak, you know, he went to one village where people are very, very uh, difficult, they misbehave with him. So, Guru Nanak Ji gave a blessing to them that all of you remain here. He went to another village where people were very nice. They really welcomed him and he gave them the blessing that you should disperse. Let this village not remain a village, you should disperse out. So, good people should disperse out and wrong kind of people should remain in one place and that is why Indians in general have moved out because we are good people in India and we have moved out to other countries to make the world better. Thank you very much. Have a great evening.